Recently, I have found an absolute gold mine of a niche for AI agents for you to build either your own SaaS product or to help other businesses as a consultancy. Today, I'm going to show you what this niche is, how it is a game changer for you, and I'll even show you a powerful AI agent that I've created myself in this niche that is making a good amount of dough. I am just going to cut right to the chase. This niche is building AI agents for an incredible platform called Go High Level. Go High Level is essentially a CRM for marketing agencies. It is a massive suite of tools to help agencies streamline things like landing pages, lead capture, lead nurturing, email campaigns, invoicing, marketing automations, Google reviews, appointment scheduling, and a lot more. Okay, but why go high level? Why pick a specific platform for a niche for building AI agents? It's a bit odd, I'm going to be totally honest, but that is actually the beauty of it. Hear me out here. I have been using Go High Level for over a year now, and I can honestly say that there is nothing like it. It is an amazing platform. But what you might be wondering is, if Go High Level does all these things that I mentioned earlier, wouldn't that mean that it's going to be the jack of all trades, but the master of none? And to an extent, that actually is true. But here's the thing, that is exactly the opportunity that you have here. Go High Level is way more than just a platform. There are thousands of businesses that are literally built around Go High Level and all the features that it provides. But I can tell you from personal experience working with agencies that there are a lot of opportunities to extend the functionality of Go High Level to fill in the gaps because it is the jack of all trades and the master of none, especially when it comes to AI. Go High Level has done some integrating with AI more recently, but it has definitely fallen short. Go High Level also has an incredible API, so it is so easy to extend the platform. Like their API is so good that you would think that they are a developer first platform. It's constantly being updated and improved. On top of that, Go High Level makes it possible to create custom apps very easily with their app marketplace. So they're literally encouraging us developers to build these kinds of things that I'm describing. And also, these marketplace apps make it really easy to handle authentication if you're building a SaaS, integrate with their API, set up webhooks to handle events on the platform, and also to manage permissions to make your app really secure. Okay, so just stop and think about this with me for a second here. We have this incredible platform that is thousands and thousands of businesses making millions of dollars on it, and it has all these different features, but each one of these are just this far from perfect where they're good, but they're there's an opportunity for you to come in and build AI agents to make them better and make a lot of money. It is just the perfect storm because on top of that, they have an incredible API and an app marketplace to encourage us developers to make these things. You couldn't have a better combination. And so there's no clickbait here when I say that I have literally found the gold mine for an AI agent's niche. There is even a 14 day free trial for Go High Level. So I'd highly encourage you to take advantage of that, explore the platform, do some research, and I promise you, you will find dozens of ways to extend the platform with AI in very practical ways. I'll even get really specific here to get your juices flowing to think about ways you can build AI agents in Go High Level. One of the biggest things for marketing agencies is to reach out to as many people, i.e. leads, as possible, as fast as possible, with as much personalization as possible. That is the name of the game for digital marketing, speed, volume, and personalization. And guess what is really good at doing this if you do it right? That's right, it's AI. AI agents are just the perfect solution for personalized lead nurturing at scale. Essentially just having a ton of conversations with all the people that have given you their information in an ad or a landing page. Your goal could be to have them purchase a product, schedule an appointment, book an event, whatever it might be. And every single business needs this. It doesn't matter if you're a solar panel company, a roofing company, a chiropractic office, a personal trainer, whatever it is, your business relies on nurturing these leads and an AI agent is going to help you. You can find all these businesses on Go High Level. There are a ton of opportunities to build different things and Go High Level, but in my humble opinion, this is one of the biggest opportunities. And in fact, this is exactly what I created, an AI agent for leads nurturing and go high level that uses Langchain, Langgraph, and Pinecone for RAG. And I'll show you exactly how I did it so you can just steal this from me for your SaaS or your clients. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to walk through what it looks like to create an app in the go high level marketplace. And then we'll dive into the code and I'll show you a bit of what it looks like to create this AI agent that I've made for lead nurturing and go high level. So first of all, I wanted just to show the marketplace apps that are available for public use at this point. 
There are a ton out there. In fact, there are even some that are out there specifically for lead nurturing already. Now, the reason you'd still want to create something yourself is there are, one, a ton of opportunities to prove upon existing software that's out there. Also, there are always going to be competitors no matter where you create a SaaS or any kind of product. And so this shouldn't deter you. On top of that, if you're doing something more like a consultancy model, you're gonna be working with clients that have very specific needs that you're gonna be building software for lead nurturing for that something more generic like this, for example, wouldn't necessarily be able to solve. So that's just a little spiel I've got on why you'd wanna do this, even though there might be some things kind of like it already. Uh, but anyway, it's just cool to see this marketplace in all the different ways that you can extend goal high level already with things that are already built. But then to actually build something yourself, it's very, very easy. You just go to your apps right here. You can click on this button to create a new app. And then it'll pop up this thing right here where you can create an app, just give it a name, whether it's private or public, and then a couple of other options right here. So at this point, my app is just a private app because I've been using it internally for an agency and helping us boost our revenue a lot and save us a lot of time. We can also make it a public app to share as well. If you were to make it more of a full-fledged SaaS that you're gonna be marketing to other agencies using Go High Level. So once you create it here, the one thing that I wanted to show that's super, super cool is how easy it is to handle webhooks within the platform and create your own custom code to handle the webhooks like I did for myself. So you give a webhook URL in your app. I'm just in the settings for my app here. And so this is just like a uh, Google Cloud function URL that I have here. So anytime that there is an inbound message, which is an SMS message or an outbound SMS message, I just have these two things ticked here. It'll send a request to this endpoint right here so I can have any code that I want to handle it. And that's where I have my AI agent that is going to handle inbound and outbound messages to be that lead nurturing bot for my agency. So really, really powerful stuff. And you can see here that it's super easy to set up. You just create an app and then you've thrown a webhook URL here and choose which events you want to trigger it, and then you're good to go. And now we can go on to the code and see how I handle these requests. All right, so I wanna start off right away by saying that this is a very broad overview of this AI agent that I've created for lead nurturing and go high level. I want this video itself to be more focused on how go high level is an amazing niche for building AI agents. If there is a lot of interest in this, I will definitely go through this code in a lot more detail and fully give away all of my secrets. So the whole front end that I built for this product, I don't have the code available at this point, but I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't want to throw everything out there at once because this is actually a pretty complex product overall. Um, but I'm definitely down to give away all my secrets. So like I said, if there's more interest in this, I will make videos on this in the future to extend what I'm showing here. So with that being said, there's a link to this code that I'm about to show uh, in the description of this video, a GitHub repo. So you can feel free to check out the entire backend for the AI agent that I've made with Go High Level. So yeah, just a bit of a broad overview at this point to show how powerful this thing is. So like I showed earlier, we have that webhook that I set up in my Marketplace app. Um, and so whenever there's a text message that comes through in a Go High Level account, it is going to hit this endpoint right here. We also have an emulator endpoint to test the different agents that you can make for your clients. And then also an endpoint to update our knowledge base, our vector database with Pinecone to handle any FAQs that we'll have for our clients as well. And so the way that this whole application works is you have different agencies that all have separate agency go high level accounts. They can come into my platform here, sign in, and then connect different agents to different clients that they have, which are basically gonna be sub accounts within their main go high level account. And so they might be a digital marketing agency that has a solar panel company they're helping out and a chiropractic office. They can create a separate agent for each that both have different prompts, maybe even different models, a different temperature, whatever it might be. So you can configure custom agents for different clients that you have all within sub accounts and go high level. So it's very powerful and dynamic stuff. And so when a text message comes through into the platform, it is going to be for a specific contact in a specific location, i.e. sub account within a single agency. And so my endpoint here, which is just a Google Cloud function that uh, receives the webhook request from my Go High Level app, it does some authentication, and then it fetches the company ID, which is basically just the agency, and it fetches the location ID, which is their contact, and then it does all the authentication, 
And then what it does is it determines the agent that is tied to that contact that just sent a text message. And that's through tagging. So it's something you do in Goal High Level where you have some automation workflows that can put specific tags on leads. And that's what determines what agent actually applies to that specific contact. So even within one client, like let's say the solar panel company you're helping, you could have different ads that you want to nurture in different ways. And so you can have different tags on different leads and set up different agents within my platform here that I call textually. Um, to nurture these leads in different ways. And so it's super, super robust. And I know I'm doing a lot of talking here, but there's just so much involved in this platform, which is why I'm not giving away all the code all at once, even though I'm definitely down to do that if there is interest. And so anyway, determines the agent that is tied to this contact, which is going to determine the prompt and the actions, what calendar to use and all that good stuff. And then it sends it into my lane graph endpoint. So I've built a full lane graph executable that does this lead nurturing and has all the tools tied into it to interact with Go High Level to send the text messages, to add tags, to cancel appointments, to book appointments. All these things are set up as tools that I bind into my lane graph executable. So I have basically a tool to add tags, which again, that's just a construct in goal high level, uh, a tool to remove tags, a tool to uh, invoke a generic webhook. And so you can set it up to when something specific happens in the conversation, it can invoke a custom webhook. I have a tool that fetches calendar availability. So if you're having a conversation with the lead and they're asking about availability or you just determine you need to offer times for a call, it would call this tool a tool to cancel appointments, and then also to book appointments. And so everything that you would need, all the actions you would need to have a full conversation to lead to a booking or to send a link to purchase a product, whatever it might be, this is all that you need as far as tools go for this. And the way that I set up my platform is for every agent, you can define custom actions. And so you can say something like, when the lead says they are interested in booking an appointment, then you should you know, call this tool to get the availability. And once the time is confirmed, then you would call this tool. And so you can use natural language in the front end that I've developed to define the custom actions and tell the large language model specifically when to use all of these tools. And so it's very, very robust and unique to the needs that you have because you might not want to text availability for a call at the same time that a different agency might. You have unique needs on how the conversation should be directed and all of that can be handled with this. Um, So yeah, it's a very robust application overall. Um, And all these prompts are built up very dynamically. So in this function that I have here, uh, this is kind of the entry point to calling the lane graph executable. Um, First, I get the agent, which is going to include everything like the prompt and the actions and all of that. And then I get the prompt from the agent and I build it up with everything that I need to apply. So for example, I use reg here. I'll even show that right here. I have this function ask vector database question. So it gets the FAQs um, that you can put into my front end to answer common questions. So I'll put that in the prompt and then there's extra context you can give about the location, like the address or their office phone number, things that would be used to answer questions as well. That's injected in the prompt. And then all the actions I mentioned are injected in the prompt some date information so it doesn't hallucinate dates, which is something that's really, really important for lead nurturing, especially with brick and mortar businesses that have visits scheduled. Uh, And then things like the time zone as well. All these things are crafted into this dynamic prompt and then the whole base prompt, giving it the goals and things to do and things not to do, all that is configured in the front end as well. And so in the end, you have this massively useful prompt that has context and FAQs and instructions and actions and date context, all this stuff that is then put into the land graph executable to generate a response, basically the text message to send back to the lead, and then also um, to call any tools that are necessary to do something like book an appointment. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to show all the code for this because there is definitely a ton here, especially in this uh, helpers file that I have right here for all the different uh, functions to help with the tool calls and stuff. There is so much code here. I've I've poured months and months into this thing. uh, Because like I said, I found this niche relatively recently, but it it was this year. Um, So I had a good amount of time to build this thing out to help with the agency that I've been working with, um, with their lead nurturing. 
Um, so yeah, it's super cool stuff. And yeah, all these tools can be easily extended as well. So I've even thought about uh, other tools that I could have to like request Google reviews after an appointment, things like that. Like there's so many different ways that I can leverage all the tools that are already in Go High Level, like I've been mentioning, and add that into this lead nurturing AI agent. So yeah, like I said, all the code that I have uh, for this, I'm just going to have in this Go High Level SaaS backend folder in my AI Agents Masterclass GitHub repo that I've just been shoving all of my code in to just make it very value packed for you guys. Um, so yeah, all the code is going to mostly be in the source folder right here. So functions, because this is uh, basically just like the general folder structure for Google Cloud functions. So you have like your initial um, Firebase stuff and then within functions, here you have the source, which is going to have all of these um, JavaScript files that I've been showing the code for. Um, so yeah, that's everything at this point. I would highly encourage you to explore this repo if you're curious about these things. And let me know in the comments if you want me to dive into this in more detail in future videos, especially showing the whole front end that I've created uh, for testing these AI agents and configuring them with the prompts and the actions and all that. I'd love to show all that as well. Because like I said, I'm not going to hide anything with this. Both. That was a lot of code to cover. I would highly encourage you to check out the GitHub repo and really dive into this and glean what you can from it because I have spent months creating this AI agent for lead nurturing and go high level. I hope that you found this to be a really powerful niche that you'll explore because I definitely have found a lot of value creating AI agents for go high level, both for me and also the businesses that I've helped out through this. And so I hope that you found a lot of value in this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.